Lilla was a, uh, is an amazing place, very powerful um, country is the Wataka region and anybody who's born into that country um, has something that is uh, very unique and very powerful, um, very connected to country. When I first went there some 26 years ago there was a lot happening, there was tourism, um, there was a school, um, there was a lot of people living in the area. I went back things had changed, there was no tourism, there was no school and there were still a lot of children out there that weren't getting an education so it was important to reopen that school so that was our first step and um, very fortunate to have the education department on board and they gave us an amazing teacher through uh, Christine Munro. There's really no education for um, kids on country after the grade of year six um, year seven, they don't normally go to school and that's it for them. So it's very hard to get a good job with having sixth grade education. The key to us having successful jobs was education and a good education, being surrounded by family in your house, in your country of your origin, um, is very important. Any kid having to go away in year seven to go to high school, away so far away from country, is very difficult and uh, nine times out of ten it doesn't work and um, as much as we wish it, it did work, it just doesn't. There is a huge difference in education in country, in bush, than it is in the big city, in the big smoke. There should be no difference. It should be the same. It should be equal. Any kid in the bush that lives in a remote area should be able to have high school education not travel for 500 k's to get that high school education. We're getting, getting these kids an excellent um, prep school education. We just need to deliver their high school education and we will have kids working in the resorts in the Wataka region, working on cattle station, working as rangers, as tour guides, as school teachers. Um, the opportunities, the jobs are out there and um, so far we've got a really good track record in the way that these kids are learning, the goals that they're achieving. What we need is a building that can deliver first class education to Indigenous kids on country. And I have a core 20 kids that need this building. And you work that out over their time at school, it's nothing. The money that we need is nothing. Sending them down south, it's $40,000 a year per student. This is not. This is one off $350,000 a building, delivering a lot. I just need your help. I need you to spread this story. I need you to just open up your hearts and just see the future that these kids have and, and, and help out. You know, I'm not, I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just asking that people that have a heart, that want to help, um, but don't know how to help, don't know, you know where their money's going to go. You can follow where this school goes. You can follow the progress of these kids. You can follow them for the next 10 years because they have a very bright future.